YouTubers and Pokemon fans, welcome to our second battle of the day. As you can see, I have changed the set a little bit, as I am like, I kind of said the last couple videos, playing with the uh, focusing a little bit. I'm uh, trying it without the spot focus, because I miss being able to like, show cards up close and like, show you the card numbers and stuff like that as well. So I simplified things, so that basically, only stuff in the background uh, is only seen when there's like, not a card showing. So basically, you know, if I have a card, in view, there's not really much for the camera to focus on besides the card. So hopefully this makes it as good as possible, but we'll see. But anyways, uh, this is a battle with the new Pokemon TCG Collector Chest. Sorry for any glare there, but this is a battle against Toys MCM Partners, the Pokemon Evolutionaries. They'll of course be opening up one of these as well. So if you want to see what their polls warrant, definitely check out their half. And if you somehow aren't already subscribed to them, make sure you do that as well. So like I said, this is a Pokemon treasure chest. The Pokemon TCG collector chest includes all of that stuff. Which, there you go if you want to be spoiled, kind of. And also there is the visual of what I'm about to show you. And some of that focus still isn't working that great. I don't know why. Um, I'll have to keep working on that. Try to improve things, because it bothers me. Maybe more than it bothers you. I don't know. I just want everything to look as crisp and sharp and... Uh, delightful as possible. So, uh, if anyone has any suggestions, let me know. I've done what I can, you know, simplifying the background and stuff here. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully things get better. Maybe I have too much lighter, not enough lighter. I have no idea. And the plastic is caught on the hinge of the lunchbox. There we go. Alrighty. So, uh, it is a collector chest, but a lot of us like to simply call it a lunchbox. Here's the new lunchbox. Mega Rayquaza, Hoopa Unbound, very cool looking. You got Pikachu and Hoopa there on the side. And on this side, you got the Hoopa Unbound and Mega Rayquaza again. And there's the Pikachu and Hoopa on the back again. So you see the same thing twice. So side and back, side and front. So let's see if I know how to open a lunchbox. Flip that down and flip that up. And oh, isn't that beautiful? Those are some pretty sharp looking promos right there, I gotta say. And that coin, while it's upside down for you right now, looks pretty cool as well. So, uh, let's take a look here. And once again, it looks like they've done a good job packaging. There are still pl the plastic bump outs, but well, let's, let's see here. We'll do the coin last. There's a code card, okay. So, let's, let's try the Hoopa first. Is there enough room here to kind of lift and slide? Oh, yep, that slid out nice, okay. Pikachu. And code card, you're up next. Beautiful. And the chest pin. Curvy. Okay, there we go. All right. So everything got out pretty easily. Not quite as easily as the uh, Pikachu X box, but it's definitely still an improvement nonetheless. So there's the cool little Hoopa coin. Very nice to see a coin that is not an XY starter, as I kind of uh, alluded to in the video earlier today. And then for the promos here, we have a cute little chest pin, because there's not enough of them in the breakthrough set. There's only three different in the set. 60 HP, Vine Whip 2 for 30 is promo. Let's see if it will focus for us here. XY88, and you can see it yourself. Very cool. Could not do that if I was using the spot focus right now. So uh, that's one reason I'm trying the different stuff here, just as a reminder. And we got a promo Pikachu. Let's see, uh, it's XY89, Thunder Wave, and Electric Wing. Win. Electric Rain, 30 plus. If Hoopa's on your bench, it does 30 more damage. It can be 60, but it's 3 energy and a 60 point basic. Probably not going to really use that in a competitive play. And then the Hoopa is promo XY90, 70 HP, summoning draw. If Pikachu is on your bench, draw 3 cards. That's not too bad for like the first one, maybe two turns of the game. And then double spin, flip 2 coins. 30 damage times the number of heads. So it does 30, maybe 60, maybe zero. So those are the promos. And then we've got booster packs. But we'll open these last. We got two breakthrough, Ancient Origins, Roaring Skies, Primal Clash. Seems like all the newer products have nothing older than Primal Clash at this point. And then dive a little deeper here. We've got four pencils featuring Hoopa and Pikachu. Turn right side up here. Same uh, graphic as you see on the tin there, basically. So four pencils, and what else? Let's see. I'm gonna put the tin to the side here at this point. 
We've got a mini album, very cool, and it should be different than the uh, normal one that you can buy like with one booster pack, which I'll turn up one of those on this channel soon too, but it's been a lot of new stuff all coming out at once. Uh, this product's not supposed to go out until the 18th, so. And then we got stickers featuring all the uh, characters from the actual tin, so that's pretty cool. And then you got a pad of paper here with Pikachu and Hoopa on it. So that is what you all get inside the tin. Um, slide stuff over, uh, let's try to get it so it's not like in view for focusing issues. So let's get to the five packs here. Two Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, Roaring Skies, Primal Clash. No Primal Fish though. Sorry, pro Professor, and the Pokemon Evolutionaries. Oh well. Primal Fish cannot bless us today. So hopefully that, well, not necessarily hopefully, but perhaps that means that you guys will win this battle, especially if you guys got a Primal Fish pack in your tin. So we got Spinda! Horsey, Skitty, Tangela, Trico, Escape Rope, Celio, Archie's Ace in the Hole, Honedge Reverse, and a Manaphy Hollow Rare. So we get something right off the bat here with a Hollow. Not an Ultra, but still obviously better than a non Hollow Rare. Deep Sea Swirl and Lifesaver. Perhaps Manaphy will be the Lifesaver that gives us the extra oomph we need to ultimately win this battle. You know, maybe we'll get the uh, same amount of, oh, well, that goes backwards. There's a code for you. 7QC, etc. All right. Yeah, again, Pokemon, please, if you're going to put the codes backwards, at least be consistent, especially within the same product. You know, if one pack's backwards, the next pack's not. It's hard for us Poketubers who are helping promote your product. Just saying. We got Swablu, Pidov, Bagon, Talo, Electrike, Altaria, Tranquil, Gliscor, Silcoon Reverse, and a Bayonet. So nothing worthwhile in that pack. Ancient Origins, so we got two Groudon pack cards basically in this tin. The Ancient Origins one and the Primal Clash one. This code is not backwards, all right. So we, we save that one. Three and two. And we have a Larvesta. Focus. <laughs> Go Lurk, oh jeez, Louise. Do, 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 do. All right, we didn't spoil the rare of the pack, at least. Golurk, Woofer, Beldum, Spinarak, Vespaquin, nice. Ampharos Spirit Link, Hex Maniac, Reverse Vile Plume, which is a rare. And the rare of the pack is a Lugia EX. Very nice. With Aero Ball and Deep Hurricane. I, I don't think I've opened too much Ancient Origins lately. I don't feel like I've pulled this card for a while. So. Very cool, Lugia EX. So that will help our odds right there. And we still got two packs of Breakthrough. And at some point, Jigglypuff did a face plant. All right, not backwards. Pack three, two, okay. Can we get anything else here? Cubone, Snubble, Technia, Scatterbug, Rufflet, Heavy Ball, Rainbow Energy, Cacturn, Zorark Break, one of the favorite cards of the Pokemon Evolutionaries of the set, and a gorgeous Florges. So, you guys can be jealous of that pull, Zorark Break. I'm pretty sure they pulled at least one of their own as well, but still, we got it in our battle against them. So that is pretty cool. So we got a Hollow, we got a Break, and an EX. And we still have our Zorark Break pack to go. So here we go with the last pack. Last chance for glory. Can we find yet another shiny goodness of a pull? Let's find out here, shall we? Dun dun dun. We've got an Inke, Swinub, Starly, Finnekin, Flabebe, Swoobat, Go Goat, Mewtwo Spirit Link, the reverse is a Quillava Uncommon. The rear of the pack is a Parasect. But still, not bad at all for five packs. Like I said here, if I can find it. Oh, it's right there on that pile. Boo. All right, so we got a Reverse Rare, a Zorark Break, a Hollow Rare, and a Lugia EX. So we got four noteworthy pulls, I guess you'd say. So that is what the Pokemon Evolutionaries have to beat. If you want to see if they can beat us, you gotta click the annotation or the eye or the link down below. And then, of course, watch their video. And then let us know in the comments who you think won the battle and why. 
and as such, don't read the comments till you've watched both, or you may encounter spoilers. So, that's all for me. Go watch and subscribe to the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and if you're new here and or not subscribed here yet, please subscribe to me as well. Rock smash my like button, visit our website, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for what I hope to have uploaded, the XY Breakthrough Booster Case Opening. Stay tuned. Might be a late upload depending on how quickly I get recording going, but it will hopefully be up tomorrow. So sit tight and stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.